All right, so what's going on, guys? Uh, here's a video I want to put together just to show you what to say uh, in your video. Trust me, don't uh, don't follow my example in terms of like editing because there really won't be any. Um, and sound, well, there won't be much of that either. So yeah, just uh, just kind of like your script almost. Uh, first, you want to start with what to call it. Um, mine is just, I don't know, the Makey Makey Doorbell. Um, I know, could be a lot better, but whatever. It is what it is. So uh, you guys have rung this thing thousands of times. Uh, so you already have an idea as to how it works. Uh, let me just go through it anyway because that's something that you'll need to do. So, uh, all right. I have it set up so that um, it uh, sends that it's connected to the left arrow key. Okay, so that uh, whenever you press the doorbell, it sends the left arrow command uh, to the laptop. Let's look at the doorbell actually. So the doorbell, which you guys have seen plenty of times before and used, uh, it's set up so that uh, as current comes in through the top wire, it enters in through this top piece of aluminum foil. And then there's a gap I built into the circuit right there so that the signal, the current can't carry on and go to the laptop. Only until you press it um, will it actually like complete the circuit and allow the current to carry on because it's entering into your thumb and then back out through your thumb and into the lower part and then onto the return wire back to the laptop. And so, uh, yeah, like I said, I have it set up so it presses the left arrow key so that whenever you do that with YouTube, and you press the left arrow key, um, it just, uh, you know, it skips back five seconds in the in the video. So that theoretically, I mean, you could find any clip on YouTube and it, at least it'll play like a segment of it or the whole thing if you find it less than five seconds. And you could totally customize the doorbell to play any, any sound, essentially. All right, so that's how it works. That's what it does. Now, um, let me run through uh, how the current flows through it. That's something you definitely want to cover. Uh, so the, we'll start with the energy source. The laptop, um, it leaves the laptop and then enters into the USB. Okay, it's exiting now. Going through the USB and then, oops, back up to the, yeah, to the Makey Makey. And the current is now in the Makey Makey. It enters into the ground or earth wire, the, which is the black wire. The black wire comes down here and um, you know enters into this long connector wire. It's the wire you have a bunch of small ones of. And oh, look at me, me and the fire extinguisher. So anyway, all right. Um, <laughs> so the long connector wire, which uh, you can get longer sections of at rollers, and yeah, it goes along the floor and along. Uh, the door and up the door frame. There you go, and then into the top of the of the doorbell. Oh my gosh, I'm horrible at this. All right, so the top of the doorbell, and then through that piece of aluminum foil into you, out of you, and then into the bottom piece and the bottom wire, which is the red wire. Okay, and then down along the door frame and uh, along the ground. And through this this uh, other piece of connector wire into well another uh, red alligator clip wire, and then that all red alligator clip wire is connected to the yellow one, enters in through the yellow one, back up to the makey makey, and it connects back to the makey makey into the left arrow command, and then uh, into the USB cable again. And the USB cables I told you guys is like a two way cable actually. And so it's on its return back to the laptop, back to where we started. And that's it. That's pretty much it. Uh, <laughs> again, um, hopefully yours is a, is a lot more entertaining than mine. Better sound, better editing. Um, but you should at least cover these bases as far as what to say.